All right, guys, I'm hoping I can turn things around for our 40 second head start challenge series here against the AI in Supercross 3. Minneapolis is a really, really fun track. It's a really, really fast track. And I feel like I have some lines that I can bust out to get the edge, get the advantage on the AI riders. This series is actually going a lot different than what I actually expected. I figured to pretty much be winning every single one of these challenges. For the most part, I gotta say the AI have been putting up a fight and it's only gonna get better from here on out. So here we go guys, Minneapolis taking on the AI, giving them a 40 second head start. Of course, on the realistic difficulty, let's see how it plays out. Let's get right into the gameplay. So here we go guys, it is time for Minneapolis. Obviously the last round in San Diego, if you guys did see that video, it was brutal to say the least. I had such a good run going in through it all down the drain within like the last two and a half minutes of the race so that's definitely a bummer i'm hoping i can turn things around here in minneapolis i'm wondering why the number in name on the back of my jersey changed back to black i swear i just went and changed them to white i will show you guys in the recording i don't make this stuff up of course giving these guys the 40 second head start when that timer hits nine minutes and 20 seconds that is my cue to go and it is time to turn things around here in this series hopefully I can get this one who is just pulling a fat wheelie down that straightaway man someone was 12 o'clock in it that was wild but I'm hoping I can turn turn things around here in Minneapolis because last episode was brutal I rode like a total goon and I just want to focus on actually hitting some clean and consistent laps San Diego is a tough track but Minneapolis on the other hand it is fairly easy fairly straightforward and there are some bigger lines that you can actually hit and they're not as risky as the ones in san diego so hopefully i can uh, just focus in get that charge going get on that flow and catch up 32 seconds to take the win from cooper webb there are some gnarly lines you can hit in this rhythm if you just want to be basic double 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 is the way to go then if you time this triple good you can just get on the gas flow double to here you can then stretch out that triple obviously i messed that up but hey it still worked and hopefully you guys do enjoy this video if you do make sure to go down there and smash the thumbs up button for me if you are new around here guys click that subscribe button join the goon army it would be greatly appreciated and of course if you guys haven't checked out the real life channel i know i do promote it a fair bit here on the gaming channel but I'm dropping weekly vlogs, weekly real life riding vlogs over on that channel. So go check it out. Show your love on the vlogs. I put a ton of effort into the editing on them. So they're always bangers. And uh, yeah, summer is here. The vlogs are flowing. So go check it out. Goonzig Productions, show your support guys. Just hit 4K over there. We're on the road to 18K here on the gaming channel. The support has been unreal and i can't thank you guys enough of course six minutes on that clock as of right now my fastest lap is a 50 second lap time i am 30 seconds down from the leader right now which is a pretty big old distance i do think if i make no mistakes and just keep on chugging along clicking through these laps i will catch up to the back of the pack pretty soon but it's going to be chasing down the leaders and actually getting that win that might be a struggle at this point. I can see who is that. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Benny Bloss is in front of me and he's the one I'm I'm chasing. It is. I didn't need I didn't even need to look at the scoreboard, man. I just know he's always at the back of the pack. And it does look like if I can get up and get the pass in on him, I should be able to make a few passes flow pretty quick. Once again, the goon moments here in Minneapolis. Luckily, Benny is right there, so I'm gonna try and get the pass in on him, and I'm gonna play it out just to see how the results come to the table, as long as I don't make any more crazy mistakes and end up going down, but being... Every time I talk about it, every time I talk about making mistakes, 
I make a mistake. We're gonna rerun it attempt number two. Hopefully things go a little bit better. I was finding that flow here in Minneapolis, but those two mistakes were just way too costly and I was not catching up to the leader Cooper Webbs. So uh, hopefully attempt number two goes a little bit better than that one. Nine minutes, 20 seconds on that clock. Let's go. Can I weasel my way? Oh man, I was gonna try and beat Politelli through that section there, but I think I would've got T-boned and uh, sent right to the ground, taking a dirt nap right away on the start straight. And that's definitely not how I wanted to start. I might as well just try and hit some clean lines. Obviously, I never try to actually crash. It just happens. And then it seems like as soon as I start making one mistake, the mistakes start flowing. So a clean race, a clean 10 minute race is all I need to get this done, I think. Run some decent lap times and see how it plays out. Get through this rhythm consistently. Even if I mess it up, I think I can still kind of bounce my way through quicker than the AI. Obviously, attempt number three, man. Good things come in threes, right? So hopefully, third time's the charm and I can get it done. Because wow, the mistakes, the goon moments. All right, so here we go for attempt number three. Nine minutes, 20 seconds on that clock. I gotta try and find a way to weasel myself through the AI there, and we are smooth sailing. Let's go. Can I actually bust out a triple? I was gonna try and bust out a triple there in that first rhythm, but I think it actually kind of costed me a little bit of time. Focus up, and let's make this happen. Coming up on the halfway mark here in this race right now, Blake Baggett is 20 four seconds ahead of me so that is pretty far i am making up a decent oh man as soon as i start talking about how things are going i throw things down the drain and start making mistakes may actually be able to get Politelli here on this lap maybe in this rhythm not gonna do it gained a little bit of time on him but not enough man not enough i gotta say i have jumped off track there many many times and i have never ever ever been reset like that i feel like the game it is just cursed today i have a curse on me and it doesn't want to see me succeed i am on it right now hopefully i can get back into that flow but these last few laps have been costly costly laps with those goon moments I might as well just give up now, man. Good things come in threes, right? Attempt number three, can I make it happen? Just like in last episode, I think if I don't go down, don't make any mistakes, I should be good to get that win. It's just actually doing that. That's the hard part. Attempt number three, attack the track, and let's just eliminate all of those mistakes. Leave all of the mistakes in the past and put in a solid, good old race i know it's on me to make that happen i just can't be going down left right and center 32 seconds to catch up to the back of the field right now i'm gonna focus in and try and go beast mode on these guys you can see there they are going through that first rhythm section so i do have a fair distance to make up right now put the head down start the charge and let's go attempt number three is the golden attempt. It is happening. I told you guys, look at that line, man. Look at that line. If I could find out a strategy to actually bust that out every single lap, that line is like a one in every 10 attempts. I try, I actually make it because it is a tough one to make. But uh, if I could hit that every single lap, Man, I would be on one. And I have been hitting some fairly consistent 49 second lap times. So with that being said, I just gotta make it through the rest of this race and see how it plays out. See if it's actually doable. If there's hope here on Minneapolis or if I'm trying to bite off more than I can actually chew. Got a few passes in the bag. I believe Bloss and Stewart may have went down together giving me a few 
easy passes to start off this run. Let's go. Already up into that top 20. We got AP and A Ray right here. So hopefully get past both of them before the end of this lap. AP battling back. I'm surprised. See if I can go right around the outside of A Ray. I will take that. Try and bust out this triple. There we go, man. Land front end heavy and keep your drive alive. That's the strategy. Totally ruining this section, but hey, you can still hit it like a whoop section and kind of keep your flow going, so that works. And I'm on the hunt for Chisholm right now. I'm actually going to try and square him up and... Okay, I caught his back wheel. I was going to try to go to his inside, but I guess that is not happening. Not today. Up to 16th place, 2 minutes on the clock, so a decent amount of racing remaining. Hopefully I can put in a good charge to end off this race. Get past Brayton here. Oh, I knew he was going to be there. I knew he was going to be there. I thought that was going to go a little worse than it actually did. And oh, I slid. Coming out of that corner, lost all my momentum. Luckily still saved a line through that section. It wasn't pretty, but definitely prettier than uh, hitting the ground and going down so i will take that this is when things can go south quick especially when you're trying to rush and get past the ai get the passes in the bag you might not be taking okay tomac i see you man i see you 12 o'clock in it what a legend but if you start banging bars and getting into some gnarly battles with the ai that's when things can go wrong quick because they are like tanks you definitely get the short end of the stick 99% of the time when you come in contact with an AI rider. So you really got to try and focus on getting uh, clean passes under your belt and just don't go down. That is the main goal when doing these challenges. I'm into that top 10 right now. Freezes on my inside there. Hey, there we go. Giving me a little bit of a boost to actually make that rhythm. I'm 12 seconds down from Marv. We're only going to have one more lap after this one. So two laps pretty much to make any final passes happen. I definitely have a little bit of an edge on these guys, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I need to make seven passes within the next lap in a bit here. So... Let's go. The aggressive plays are coming out. Get past Jason Anderson just like that. Hopefully around the outside of him here. He is battling back. He doesn't want me to have this, this, what is it, a top five? Not even a top five. He doesn't want me to have this spot easily. Sixth place. Here we go. Bag it will be for that top five. Get through this section. Bogle is next on the agenda get a nice drive in to the dragon's back through this bowl corner oh i was gonna try and go right around the outside of him is he gonna square it up did drift a little wide there and that should be the pass on him Let's see if i can get fairy as well for that podium position i'll take it man looks like marv took the win malcolm stewart coming in p2 and Bogle almost battles back to steal that podium. That was insane. So Marv was going the fastest for the AI. He hit a 51.844 for a lap time. My lap time was about 2.5, 2.5 seconds quicker with a 49.302. So Marv was definitely on another level. I don't know if I would have been able to catch up to him. But if we take our difference between our lap times and times that by the 13 laps that we did, that's only 33 seconds. I feel like I did actually make up more time than that. I'm not sure if Marv was still 7 seconds ahead at the end of that race. Starting 40 seconds down and finishing in P3, I feel like if I cleaned up my race, I could probably get that win. It might just be a luck thing. If Marv would have went down and made a few more mistakes, same with Stuart. I probably could have capitalized on that. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that thumbs up button for me. And that's it for Minneapolis. Check that one off the list. Third place. Can't complain about that one. Peace out.